Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Teen Shallot, your favorite YouTuber, or maybe your favorite YouTuber, I hope. Today we're gonna be coming back with the video that popped off. You guys all wanted a part two. You guys are in the comment section below were blowing them away. So today I'm doing a special treat. I'm gonna give you what if Deku had a brainium part two. I will not disappoint you guys for this one. I saw the comment section down below and when I asked should Deku get one for all? You won't believe nine people wanted Deku to have one for all. If we're including the people who commented down, we're talking about 12 people and only four people did not want him to have it. So our friend Deku will be getting one for all. Now you're going to be wondering, yo Shale, how are you going to factor this in? Don't forget, he has three years till the UA entrance exams, which means in between those years, he'll be getting one for all. So it's the last year that they're going to be going until the UA entrance exams. And All Might decides to train Deku to use his quirk. He says, Deku, young Midoriya, here is my quirk. I feel like your body can handle it. And he tells him everything about One for All, what it is, how it's been passed down, all about All for One. And, you know, Deku's amazed. He's like, you have a power this whole time and you're telling anybody? Man, All Might, how did you become a hero? With hard work and dedication, young Midoriya. That's how you become a hero. Not because you have some flashy quirk, though that does help, because you work hard for it. Now, let us train you. So, Deku, after five days, mastered full cowling or harnessed it, and then another five days, he mastered it. And you think of this. So, think of Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. He kept his breath, he kept doing the breath style short breathing breath style, I don't know what it was called again. And he kept doing it when he was sleeping, eating, working out, and doing exercise. So, <laughs> would you look at that, Deku does the same thing with One For All. He always keeps 5% of One For All on, that way he has hiding reflexes, perception, and abilities. So he's way much more faster than a regular normal human being. Now if you're wondering how much you can harness, because of his strong bo metal bone structure, because of how much he can handle and his regeneration factor, because the more his he, he the more his arms or body parts get healed, the stronger it is next time, the higher durability it has, which is a side effect to the regeneration. Which means that if he broke his arm five times, next time he does a 100% punch, his arm would just wouldn't break at all. It would just stay there, like a normal thing, and that's kind of OP, but. You guys wanted him to be OP, so I'm just gonna do it right this way. But he's gonna grow, okay? He's not gonna be OP at the start. So right now, he can control at least 10 or 15% of one for all full cowling, which is enough to re really much take down your average threat or villain. So, let us continue. It is time for the UA entrance exam. It has been one year. And then everybody looks proud at Deku and says, why don't you go to recommendations? Deku says no. He wants to earn his way into UA. He wants to tell, show everybody that he came here to become the hero his own way, not because everybody else helped him, though he was grateful for what they did. So they all respected Deku's wish, and then he went in through the entrance exam way. And then he goes inside the orientation. And then he sits next to this kid, which looks like Bakugo? But Deku doesn't pretend not to notice him and Bakugo doesn't recognize Deku either. Because if you guys want to know, Deku is really built. Built, guys. He is, he is like muscular. He's like a bodybuilder's kind of body man. Because he's been doing bodybuilding for three years. Alright, and yeah, and he's been doing bodybuilding for like at least five years in total. So, and because of his power, it gives him abnormal amounts of muscle. Like a Saiyan. So, Deku, <laughs> Deku sits next to Bakugo, and he sees this kid with, with nice hair and everything. He looks pretty tall. He's six feet five, and then he also he looks ripped as chiseled. His abs are so chiseled, you'll feel like somebody got a rock and started chiseling abs out as well. That's how rock hard they are, like steel. 
you could shoot a gun and it might actually bounce off but nobody knows for sure <clears throat> so it's orientation and President Mike's talking about how here's a zero pointer robots the one pointer two pointer three pointer but he forgot to mention the zero pointer in Ida pretending to be the smart guy he just gets up and says hey if you forgot this this will really reflect poorly on UA's reputation Deku did not like how he was speaking to his uncle President Mike so he got up and he's like hey you kid standing right there you guy with the glasses um and genuine brother right He's like yeah, yes that's me you know the Ingenium family was so nice I don't know what happened when you were born I don't remember them barging into what other people will say huh you know and you know even to take on this is like he's like who are you to tell me who am I you just you disrupted my uncle from saying that there were gonna be zero pointers you have to run away your uncle yeah my uncle's president Mike he's like Yo, Midoriya, how you doing? And then they all have a nice chat, and they sit down. And Ida, his face burning with shame, sits down as well. And President Mike explains that the zero point is just a big robot that you have to run away from. Because it's worth zero points, so what's the point? Sorry about that. Point, point, point. Um, now it's time for the, hmm, written test, yes. So Deku gets a perfect score, he gets even a higher score. He sees mistakes that they made on the test and he starts fixing them while he's doing the test because he's been taught so well for three years by ten different people. So Deku decides that mm, he might wear his hero costume for this one. So he did. And you know he wore that bandana of a mask around him with that suit and everything that I talked about in part one. So Deku's the, the um, physical... Okay. The robots start. So, President Mike, 3, 2, 1, go. And Deku activates five, fifth, uh, 6% of one for all and starts running really fast, destroying all the robots in his way, punching through them. He doesn't even need one for all right now. He could just walk, he could just run without it, and he'd still be destroying all these robots. So, he activates 15% of one for all, his max right now. And he starts destroying every single robot. He's also helping other people out rescuing others getting rescue points as well then Nezu says it's time to test him and out of the shadows comes two gigantic yes not one but two gigantic zero pointer robots they want to see what is Deku actually made out of so he's like all right it's time for me to show them my true power and he says he powers up one for all in both of his arms and says Double Detroit smash at both 100% and he demolishes the robots. They got destroyed. D -d destroyed. Their head was not even there. And Deku, both of his arms broken, starts falling down. And he's like, is this how I go? Next thing you know, he's slapped in the face and he's saved. He gets up. He's like, hey, thanks. Thank you. For saving me. Oh no, it was no problem. You saved me first. And Deku says, This girl's cute in his mind. Ah no, I gotta focus on being here right now. So Recovery Girls comes and she heals Deku's injuries. He's like, Damn, Deku, what you been doing? You see, you've been pulling, huh? And then because when Deku did that smash, his whole shirt got ripped apart. So right now he's standing there shirtless with his chiseled steel rock hard abs. Think of yeah, so you think of Gogeta's body? That's basically what you're getting, guys. And so every girl looks just looks at him and starts blushing and looks away. And every guy looks at him with envy. And he's like, damn, how'd he get that buff? Man, all these girls are liking him. He may not be liked by all the boys, but by the girls? My god, guys. He gonna be surrounded. It ain't gonna be high school DXD, but it gonna be half that and half of the another hair of animes. So, let's continue. Deku decided to go to back home. Basically, he lived with All Might right now. And then All Might told him you passed. With 300, 300 villain points and 120 rescue points. Yes, and he cheers out really loudly knowing that he got 420 points in total and then 
It's the after a new few more days, he goes inside to UA. And he goes to his and he hears yelling. And he's like, damn, did somebody already yell? Oh man, I hope it's not that kid Ida. He didn't really seem like that kind of a nice guy. He goes in and he sees Bakugo yelling. And he's like, oh it's Bakugo. I knew it. Damn bastard. Left me. Didn't even try to look at didn't even recognize me. This man's about to feel pain he's never feel, felt before when he finds out what I've been through. So, Deku go walks in and Ida gets up and he's like, I'm sorry, you found out what was, more, there was more to the test and that you're clearly better than me. And Deku's like, Ida, no, no, I was right, no, Ida, shut up. Look, we're all heroes here for training. We all make mistakes, but it's up to us to fix those mistakes and then move on. So are you here to become a hero or are you here to grovel at every single person that comes your way? Ida says no. And Deku's like, good, now sit down. Everybody exactly knew what kind of person they would choose for the representative. Aizawa comes in. So does Urak at the same time. But Deku's already sitting down doing his staying above the chair without sitting down on it. You know, exercise and everything. Aizawa comes in and Deku's like, hey dad, how are you doing? And like, young Midori, not in front of everybody. But come on, dad, please. You know, and then he gives him the bit pouty of a look, you know, and Deku learned how to master and manipulate other people's emotions. So he knew how to get what he wanted. I was always like, man, I can't even stay mad at you. All right. Yeah, sure. You can call me dad, I guess. So everybody was amazed, and they're like, the homeroom teacher is your dad? In present, Mike's your uncle? Yeah. And Bakugo was like, wait, what's your name? My hey, Bakugo Katsuki, or should I say Kachan? My name is Izuku Midoriya, or as you better know, Deku. And a dawn of realization hits upon Bakugo's face, and he's like, Nah, you can't. The Deku I remember was weak, couldn't even help himself, never could do anything for himself. Yeah, you're not Deku. Deku immediately gets enraged by this comment. He gets up, grabs him by the collar, activates one for all in his face, and he's like, You piece of beep, 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 you beep, 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 and he was like throwing swearing everywhere, guys. Throwing it everywhere. That's why I'm saying beep. And he's like, you beep. You piece of, you don't know what I've been through. And then he tells him the whole thing that he's been through for two years. And how he's been living here. Everybody in that room heard what he had been through. Except for Momo. She was a bit late. Actually, no. He didn't tell everybody. Sorry, I'm going to wreck on that part. He went near Bakugo's ear and told him everything. And Bakugo looked back in with fear in his eyes. In regret, massive, overflowing amounts of regret for how he treated Deku all those years. So Deku lets all go of him, and then as another insurance, uses five percent one from punches him in the face, thinking oh, he might have broken a bone in his skull. And then he sits down, and Aizawa didn't even stop him because he knows what Deku has been through, and he knows what kind of a person Bakugo is. So Bakugo totally deserved this one, and then. Bakugo says, Teach, are you going to do anything? Hey, who's... Hey, as long as you don't make him mad, I'm good. But if you make him mad, you're on your own. And yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to be ending part two to What If Deku Had a Brainium. Don't, and I would like you guys to please subscribe and like and share. If you share my videos, more people will like, more people will subscribe, and the faster videos will come out and the sooner. And the more that you will like. I'll be releasing a net I'll be releasing a new series on Sunday. I want you guys to be prepared and I'll be leaving a link in the description to what the series will be. Tomorrow. Not today. I'm sorry. And yeah guys, this is Teen Shallot out of here.